Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you are always in your best condition. In this video, I will tell the storyline of a fantasy movie released in 2007, which is no other than The Water Horse. The movie told a story about a boy that became a good friend with a lake monster that we know as Loch Ness. The monster was in anger and the boy tried to save him. How did he manage to save his monster friend? Let's find out from the complete storyline. But, before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on our new video. The film opens with a couple of American tourists visiting a tavern in Scotland. Then they saw a photo of the Loch Ness Monster hanging on the wall of the tavern. They did not believe the presence of the monster and thought that the photo was fake. Until then, there was an old man who said that the photo might be fake, but there was something hidden there. The old man then told a story which happened after the period of World War II in 1942, where there lived a boy named Angus McMorrow. One day, Angus went to the beach, and because he could not swim, he just looked for shells on the lake side. While looking for shells on the lake side, Angus found a black egg-like object. Then, Angus's mother, Anne, came and took him home. Angus brought the thing with him. Arriving at the house, Angus immediately went to the warehouse which used to be his father's office. Angus's father turned out to be a marine who joined the war and until now has been declared missing because his ship sank one year ago. Angus himself couldn't accept the fact that his father couldn't possibly return. Angus tried to open the egg-like object, but when he had not finished opening it, Angus's mother called and he left the object just like that. That night there was a big storm and Angus saw the open warehouse door. Angus rushed to close it. At that time, he realized that the object he brought this afternoon was an egg, and now the egg has hatched. Angus also heard a strange sound around the warehouse. Angus followed the sound, and it turned out that he found that it came from a strange small creature. Angus liked the animal and brought it home. The next day, Anne and her two children were surprised because a troop of Scottish soldiers came to their house. Their leader, Captain Hamilton, said they would stay there. The leader ordered Captain Hamilton's troops to make a defense around the lake to repel the German troops. Angus went back to the warehouse where he kept the strange creatures he found, and how surprised Angus was when the warehouse was a mess. The animal was just hungry, and Angus gave it leftover food from his house. Not knowing what kind of animal he found, Angus finally named him Crusoe. Angus also remembered his father who often told him about strange creatures that inhabit the lake. Crusoe's body became dry, and then Angus put it in a trash can filled with water. Meanwhile, Scottish troops were seen making a defensive line around the lake. The lake is the deepest lake in Scotland, so it could be used by their enemies' submarines for reconnaissance. Anne, Angus's mother entered the warehouse and saw her son who still had his father's photos and other things. Not long after, a man named Lewis, who was hired by Anne, came to take care of the house, including cleaning the warehouse. Later, Angus saw Lewis throwing water out of the trash, but Crusoe was not in it. Lewis told Angus that his mother hired him and that he would use the warehouse as his room. Angus disagreed and said that his father will be home soon but still Lewis would use the warehouse. Crusoe, which Angus was looking for, turned out to be inside the house, and on his way to the kitchen, he was chased by a guard dog belonging to the army. They made a mess and finally the dog was locked up by the cook. Then, Kirsty, who was Angus's sister is surprised by Crusoe who was swimming in the bathroom. Luckily Angus was there and explained to Kirsty that Crusoe was a nice creature. He also asked his sister not to tell his mother. The next day, Lewis, who was going to fix the drains in Kirsty's bathroom, was also surprised when he saw Crusoe. Lewis also told Angus and Kirsty that Crusoe was a mythological creature called a water horse. There is only one creature in the world and it will leave an egg before dying. Soon the mother came to the bathroom. Both of the children asked Lewis to keep a secret about Crusoe from their mother. Angus and Kirsty also prevented the mother from entering the bathroom, but their mother insisted. Finally the mother came in and saw Lewis who had finished repairing the drains and Crusoe hidden in the toilet. After the incident, Lewis suggested that Angus release Crusoe into the lake so he could be free and find his own food. 
however, Angus refused and said that Crusoe would stay at home with him. In the evening, Captain Hamilton invites Anne to a dinner while Angus was still playing with Crusoe in the bathroom. Kirsty suddenly came and took Angus to see something interesting that Angus forgot to close the bathroom door. Hungry Crusoe walked out and he met the dog again in the kitchen. Both of the animals fought and they ended up making a mess at dinner. Lewis came to catch the dog and he told Angus to come into the house. Lewis then looked for Crusoe and found him in the fountain in front of the house. He also found out that now Crusoe's body has grown bigger after eating the fish in the fountain. Due to his large size, Lewis invited Angus to take Crusoe to the lake because it is impossible to take him home. Arriving at the lake, they released Crusoe and left him there. Later, Captain Hamilton summoned Lewis to meet him. The captain warned Lewis to stay away from Anne and her children. Lewis was considered a bad influence on Anne's children. Then, two old men were seen fishing in the lake. Before long, their fishing hook hit something and they thought they had caught a big fish. As it turned out, the fishing rod hit Crusoe and he pulled the boats. Feeling scared, finally the man holding the fishing rod immediately cut the fishing line. Elsewhere, Captain Hamilton invited Angus to join the training with his troops. Angus did simple tasks and also marched like soldiers. The captain intended to instill a warrior spirit in Angus. But while doing his job washing the car, Angus secretly ran away and tried to find Crusoe in the lake. Crusoe appeared and he invited Angus to explore the lake. At first Angus was scared because he was afraid to dive, but over time, Crusoe enjoyed it. He was so happy after playing with Crusoe who was now very large. Crusoe dropped Angus by the lake, but unfortunately one of the soldiers witnessed the incident. Angus immediately went home and he shared his experience with Kirsty and Lewis. They laughed together. Anne saw this moment and she spoke to Lewis. He also thanked Lewis for making his children feel happy after all this time. Anne also asked about the wound on Lewis's back. Lewis replied that he got the wound from the battle against the Germans, it turned out that Lewis was a soldier who was honorably discharged because he was seriously injured. This was also confirmed by Captain Hamilton's men who were trying to find information about Lewis. One day, the captain took Anne and her children to see the fort by the beach. It also shows a simulation of a weapon that will be fired into the lake. Angus, knowing that Crusoe was in the lake, tried to stop him, but it was too late. The soldiers fired at the lake with the cannons which they placed on the shores of the lake. It scared Crusoe Angus made a fuss, and the captain got angry. He then shouted at Angus. Anne, who did not accept her son being shouted at, immediately asked one of the soldiers to take them home. Because of the fire, some of the men who tried to take photos on the other side of the lake of Crusoe felt they had failed. Therefore, they finally made a wooden statue that looked like Crusoe and placed it in the lake to take a photo. From that photo, the news about Crusoe was widespread. After the incident, Anne disciplined her children and put them to bed at 6 in the afternoon. Lewis, who knew that Crusoe was being targeted by many people, asked Angus to go quietly. Angus then called Crusoe, but Crusoe has turned uncontrolled because of the trauma from the shot he got this afternoon. Crusoe almost pounced on Angus, but Lewis quickly saved him. Crusoe finally returned to the lake, while a ship belonging to the army was starting a search. Crusoe also attacked the ship and injured two of its soldiers. Knowing of the attack, the soldiers immediately reported to the captain who was talking with Anne. Anne, knowing Angus was not at home, forced herself to go to the beach, even though it was dangerous. Angus returned to the lake and asked Crusoe to stop attacking. Angus even threw himself into the lake until he drowned. Fortunately, Crusoe's memory returned, and he immediately saved Angus and brought him to the lake's side. When Angus awakened, the captain and Anne arrived there, while Crusoe immediately went into hiding. Anne scolded Angus and Lewis for going out in such a dangerous situation. Angus said that he should save Crusoe, but the mother does not believe in the existence of mythological creatures. It was only after Crusoe came to the surface that Angus's mother and the captain believed him. Before long, the soldiers who thought that Crusoe was the periscope of the enemy submarine immediately shot fire on Crusoe. Angus immediately ordered Crusoe to leave the place. The soldiers were still shooting at Crusoe who ran away carrying Angus. 
The captain and Anne and Lewis chased them with a boat. The captain could not stop the soldiers' fire because his long-distance communication device was damaged. When they realized that a ship was chasing them, the soldiers stopped firing. After that, the soldiers raised a defensive net on the lake leading to the sea to trap Crusoe who they thought was an enemy ship. Angus was asked to get on the captain's ship and leave Crusoe, who will go to sea. Like it or not, Angus left Crusoe and was pulled onto the ship. Meanwhile Crusoe jumped over the defensive net to head to the sea. Seeing Crusoe manage to escape, they cheered happily. Until the sun rose, they returned to the lake side. From that incident, Angus learned to let his father and no longer expected him to come home. They felt happy when they saw Crusoe able to live freely in his nature. However, after that incident, they never saw Crusoe again. Back in the present, the previous American tourists were delighted by the story told by the old man. They also thanked him, and when they were about to leave the place, they asked the man's name. The man replied that his name was Angus McMorrow. At the end of the film, a woman was seen calling her son, William. It turned out that the child found the same egg just like Angus had previously found. And the movie ends. Okay, the Water Horse movie storyline is over. I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll come back with the next movie storyline. Bye.